live. What's up, everybody? It is G, Mr. Drew, here to welcome you to another episode of the Andrew Gloszewski Experience. It's going to be episode 344. We're going to continue the Bayonetta concept art study. Been going through all these uh, beautiful designs uh, little by little. And we are currently working on this design here. Uh, super cool, got a, pretty much the page covered, but I, I've been going back and forth today with like, oh, do I leave it blank, there's so much blank space, or do I not? Do I just want to kind of hurry through this? And I was like, you know, I don't want to hurry at the end of the day. Like, a study is a study. And there's, uh, there, there's questions that need to be answered as far as like what these designs are doing, um, where we can't see them. So, I just want to finish up this page, and uh, it's going to be a long stream tonight, so I'll be, I'll be at it for a while. I'll get a few things in. We'll definitely finish up the page. Um, I'll try to fit in as much stuff as I can in the, uh, all these spaces, like over here, especially in this corner. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'll definitely use these uh, two corner pieces as well. And yeah, let's just... Uh, I'm just gonna jump right into it, man. Like I said, I don't want to hurry, but I do want to hurry, uh, and I, I, I kind of want to like explore what this design, what this dress suit, whatever you want to call it, could be doing. And uh, yeah, let's. Uh, like I said, man, let's just jump into it. Uh oh, get that ink out. There we go. Got that. And most of this. Kind of get these in. Is my camera crooked? Let me straighten my camera out. There we go. So yeah, I want to draw the profile uh, of this. Just because she has this big hair. Alright, let's go back a couple designs. She has a big collar there. She has a big collar here. Uh, but I drew this profile with this design that she, she had this giant hair you see so she has this giant collar giant hair and when i drew the profile of it it created this really big problem here of like here's the collar and then he, it's supposed to be this mass of hair back here um and you know while it's like you know it, it you can make it work but it's still a little clashing and conflicting and I'm looking at this design and looking at how even the sleeves fold and how the, the, the pants kind of kind of form and flow out. And I'm just like, okay, what could the collar be doing if it's not wrapping all the way around with this mass of hair behind her? And there was like an interesting design. So, yeah, I just kind of wanted to...
So yeah, I wanted to give her the hair, get the side shot, the profile of what's happening here. Kind of get the Makoto Kusanagi side bang, but she has like the, uh, the, uh, damn, what do they call that? The pompadour front. So yeah, she has like this total 80s metal kind of hairstyle. You can't really see from this angle, but drawing it from here, it's like almost obvious. You know, really cool, so. All right. And yeah, this uh, collar really pops up from her chest, so let's get like her collarbone. And then her chest drops down, right? Um, and the collar's popping out pretty much like from her cleave cleavage. It's like tucked in there in the folds of the, uh, the suit, however that's working. I actually saw a picture of Kim Kardashian wearing this dress, you know, a couple weeks ago. And now I see that, that dress or suit, whatever you want to call it, because it's kind of like a onesie, but it wraps you like a burrito. Uh, I seen it on Amazon now, and they have like this really super hot model modeling it. And I was just like, oh shit, look, 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 look what's happening. <laughs> So, here's her neck, her back, and then her shoulder. And I kind of want to draw that like that, but now that we're getting to the clothes, let's... Uh, There we go. And then, yeah, this kind of reaches up like a bra strap almost. So it kind of climbs up here, gives you that. And this could be like the first plume that we see from the front angle. So it's out in, out in, out. So that's climbing that way, so that's out, in, out, in, and now we can get like real flowy with it down there. And this is kind of like how I see it working. And I'll draw, I think what I'm going to draw on this side is kind of like a far away shot just down her back and uh, kind of push this design out a little bit more so I can really show you what's going on. Obviously, at, from behind, I'm going to not include her hair because her hair is mighty big. So it's going to be another bald headed bayo. Uh, situation but yeah um, and then yeah let's get a couple dark dark strands There we go. All right. So that we got that, let's uh, let's start with our light colors. Yeah, we're gonna probably just speed right through this stuff. I mean, ten minutes. Ten minutes in, and I'm kind of already drawing. Like I said, 
like, I want to do these uh, studies justice, you know? I mean, what would be the point of doing it if I'm not going to, like, really do it properly? You know what I mean? Waste my time, waste uh, all of yous's, you guys' times watching this, you know what I mean? Get some more. Uh... Oh, let's get the yellow. I wonder if the yellow is still bleedy. I hope not. Nope. Yeah. Good. 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 There we go. Yeah, maybe this one won't take uh, too much time. Let me not speak out of turn, right? shade in these roots. There we go. Show that her hair is really getting ruffled in that area where it's meeting the uh, where it meets the collar, you know, the baby hairs and the collar. I'm definitely gonna. Get her eyebrow. Get her eyelash. skin tone, at least the uh, darker bits. Okay, so to jump onto the collar, her red collar here, I have her her hair from the original portrait there, so I'm going to just make the artistic um, decision to not cover those up.
should bring a little bit of uh, coolness. Plus, it'll kind of break apart, you know, these drawings so they're not like super. Because right now, I was going to avoid doing it to not overlap. But, you know, earlier today, I was just like, it's a sketchbook. It's a sketchbook. Just, just, it's just sketches. Like, we're not making, we're not making perfection here. We're, we're making edumacation. Like, come on. go Whoops. Same thing. Just a little something, something over there. Yeah, it's looking wild, but like I said, I'm gonna avoid the hair. Once I'm done with all this, it'll look. It's gonna look dope. Okay. This is where we fill this baby in.
go. Where are we at? Where are we at? Okay, that's what's happening. Go. That's what I'm going to end up having to do. Okay, so that's that with the red. Probably going to need to bust this one out again. It's just a whole lot of information right there. Alright, so yeah, and then we can definitely highlight this with a dark stroke.
Okay. And yeah, I figured as much. This is all we're gonna have to go dark. There we go. This perfect. color <clears throat> Let's see what this thing does. These marker sets came with a blender. I wonder if this will let me shape these things out a little bit more. Soften it up a bit. I feel like it's going to play in with the uh, line art also. Whatever. Is what it is. And yeah, man, that'll be that one. Oh yeah. So it's like a profile shot. Let's just keep it moving. Do a back shot, so. I wonder how much do I need to show, because I kind of want to go at least. that 